And we're back. We're and we we are live in studio. Welcome back to another Schooner and Hop beer review. We're sitting here with Four Pines Certified Space Beer Stout. Mm -hmm. All right, so as you can probably tell from all this set dressing we've set up, we've kind of partnered with our local bottle mart, uh, in particularly Porter's Plainland Bottle Mart, and they're just kind of going to help us out with the channel a bit. Yeah. Nothing's changing as far as the way it's run or anything we actually do. No, just a little... Uh, they're they're just, just shouting us beer. Shouting us beer, and we're just in, in exchange for a uh, subtle subtle plug on our part, so... Very subtle. Cheers, you Porter's Plainland. You'll barely even notice it. Yeah. Cheers. And we're back live <laughs> in the studio. <laughs> Here we are. All right. With our Carl Aussie Anvil uh, bottle openers. I feel out of the loop. We haven't done this in so long. I know. This has been ages. This is actually... It's been like a month, I reckon, since, I we've, think... since we've done one of these. We don't even remember what beer tastes like. Yeah, I've had zero beers in between our last we've been clean. review and now... Here we are. Anyway, here we are. Four Pines Stout. Let's give it a go. Oh, very strong flavour. It does not leave you thinking that this is going to be like a clean at the start. It is just wax you with some yeah. uh, like multi-flavour, yep. I guess. The hops and the bitterness come straight through and then they just stay Everything's there. Everything's there. You've got this like nice little subtle chocolatey... Well, what they um, say, it's coffee a coffee little hit through, which you'd expect from a stout. I don't think I should read that on there. It's actually it's an Irish, a dry Irish stout. So for any of you that know anything about that, that's what they're aiming for. So moderate roasted grain or malt with medium to high hot bitterness, and I would say it's high, or it starts medium and then goes high. Definitely getting that chocolate. It's def definitely getting like the chocolate mm. coffee burnt. Yeah. Kind of, well. The like the the flavor you get when you drink a stout that you'd expect to get. Yeah, it's very. Is... It's quite clean. Like it's not very. I guess over the top heavy feeling. I mean, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not not much of a stout drinker. No, um, neither am I. And that's as far as the channel's concerned. We've only drank a dark dark lager, lager. So whatever that means. I think it's just like a softer version of this. Whereas, see, because I didn't know too much about, yeah. You know, Beers and things, which funny. I'm starting a beer channel, and I don't know much about beer. What better, um, what what better, better way reason to, learn? to yeah. start? Yep, yeah. learn on the go. But like, I was expecting much more of this from the uh, from the bishops. So this is obviously being a stout. This is exactly what I thought it would be. It's a stout. Yeah, I'm not saying it's bad. That aftertaste it's... that just stays there. I'm not a big fan of that. Look, I can't say I'm enjoying it. It's very because it's. I, I guess for me, it's not a hoppy. No, it's it's roasted. Bitter, it's something. yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm trying to think if it said anything on this thing, I looked stuff up. That's a flavor. So it says medium to low slash no fruit fruitiness, which I'm not getting any of that. There's so. no fruitiness. There's yep. it definitely ends on a very burnt coffee. Yeah. Flavor. Yep. That's that's really what's the most prominent thing as far as tasting this is is that yeah. big burnt aftertaste which so me like, being exactly a non-seasoned uh stout, stout drinker, drinker. Yeah. it's nice but it's not my flavor which i'm pretty no. sure we could yeah we, we both gather. Really going in i like the malt at the beginning but yeah i think just where it ends for me yeah i think because you you kind of you sip it and then there's kind of this sweet peak mm. and then it just cuts and that's away. when it hits everything else yeah if nothing else it's a certified space beer and that's pretty damn rad yeah I think so. As far as I could tell, it, all they really wanted to do was uh, do stuff with zero G. I know yeah. in the brief research we did, they've developed Four Pines have developed an association with someone else, but they've yeah, developed a, a bottle that you can drink yeah. beer out of while in space. In space. So, so um, any astronauts, astronauts, this one's um, for you. Hopefully, you like that. I mean, you suppose you could drink any beer, but then they're not space certified. And so this you is can't... space certified. Yeah, so you couldn't drink any other beer, really. Yes, yeah. uh, I don't really know who's in charge of certifying space beer. But probably Richard Branson or Elon Musk. Probably Elon. Or Putin. I'm sure he's got nothing else going on. So, Corey. It's above the fur feet, that hurts me, but... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. That almost... Sure, that sure it hurts, but... Look, aside from what we've got here, I really can't imagine myself trying 
this well, I can't try it again because it'd just be having it again. Yeah. But I can't imagine myself having this again. I'm not gonna rush back to it. But we've we've also we've already said we're not stout drinkers. Yeah. So you can blame so me I on think, that. I think part of why I wouldn't go straight back to this is because if I was gonna go for a stout again, I'd wanna try something else that I think I might might enjoy enjoy yeah. more. Yep. Who knows? Once I become a seasoned stout drinker, I could end up realizing that my favorite stout was this first yep. little darling one that I tried. My issue is I can't grow a beard, so I'm not ready for stout. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's what's your issue? You got a beard? Clails are just really yeah, good. Yeah, they are. They are. One's, I don't want to say third yeah. last, but one Why better than... Why don't we just say seventh best? Seventh best. It's one better than eighth best. <laughs> but yeah, same reasons, Corey. I'm, I'm not going to rush back to it. I'll appre I appreciate it for what it is. I had it above the Furfy and nearly put it above the uh, Reserve, the Endeavour Amber Ale. Um, and then I had a heart attack and realised I was betraying my faithful little Furfy. Because mm. I've grown quite fond of that after our review. I've had it on tap several times. Corey's forever fondly... Forever fondly Furfy, furfy. flavour fanatic. I can appreciate it for what it is. I can also appreciate the fact that I don't like stouts. I'm kind of in that exact <laughs> same boat where it's like this. It's just not for me. It's really not my flavor. No. So if you like stouts, give it a try. If because you definitely, I, if you like stouts, because Four Pines are like one of the better craft brewery. Craft brewery, yeah. Going about like yep. pale ale is one of my favorite pales that I've had. So yeah. they're definitely they're doing good things. And look, it's stouts are a winter beer. So it's probably nicer on a colder day. This winter's day is not winter. Yeah, this is... It's just like a spring This is stupid. Day. I think Four it's, Pines uh, are just... They've got a stout to add their... That's their collection. Add to their repertoire. Yep. A stout that's a space beer, which, guys, that, I mean, that's that's why I wanted to buy it, essentially, is because it is a space beer. It said space beer, but, like, what? Well, but, Corey, did I buy it? No, I didn't. It was provided by Porters. It was. <laughs> Cheers to <laughs> that. Oi, what a plug. And, oh, that was a plug and a half. Fresh. But, no, Cheers. Cheers to Plainland uh, Bottom Up for hooking us up with these. Uh, we will see everyone next week with another next beer. Week. Anyway, until then, cheers. Cheers.